Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a slightly different kind of video. Hello and welcome back. I'm going to vlog the process of me writing the script for hopefully my next short film. Now, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to give you a little background right now on uh, how I came to the story and concept, and then I'm going to casually vlog the rest of the way. So, let me begin by explaining how I got to the point and the concept that I'm at. One day, I was walking to school and uh, there was supposed to be rain, so I'm holding this umbrella and I'm upset because, quite frankly, I wanted to... I didn't want to bring the umbrella, but I had to bring it because it was supposed to rain and it didn't rain. So as I'm walking to school, I uh, see a street corner. I pass the street corner every single day on the way to and from school, work, wherever. And I imagine, like, what if these two guys came up to me and then started to attack me? I was going to, what would John Wick do in this situation? Like, what would, like, uh, action hero do in this situation? Not necessarily me, but, like, if that were to happen on that street corner and I were to witness it, what would go down? So I came up with this concept, and I've been kind of jogging it around in my head ever since April. And uh, right now it is July Friday. So uh, this is the start of my vlogging journey. I kind of have uh, some stunts figured out of what I want to do. I kind of have a general idea of everything. Obviously, I don't know what I don't have until I start writing and outlining stuff. But yeah, for now, that sounds uh, like all I really have right now. Today, I'm going to be planning, outlining and stuff, uh, trying to get what I have in my head down onto paper and onto the computer. I think yesterday I just got too much done. Like, I secured the stuntman I wanted. I secured my ideal lead actor. I didn't know if he was actually going to be down to do this with me, but he's kind of who I've had in my head to play the lead role ever since I came up with this idea. So I think yesterday, and I, I also came up with a few like moves that I would want the character to do, some uh, key action moments. So, I think that's the case, that t yesterday I did so much that today I'm just drawing a blank. In case you think I'm kidding, this is literally all I got. I figured out what's been bothering me, the one thing that's been missing from this whole thing, the one thing that ties the whole thing together, why things are happening, why the character gets so worked up to kill or fight these guys, and uh, I'm gonna start writing it down. Uh, I was thinking maybe either do it like a laptop or a folder, probably a folder, maybe a la I, I don't know. It's like I'm like 50-50 on which one I prefer. I think I kind of prefer the folder more, but the laptop makes more sense. Yesterday I said I needed a monster. Well, I got really busy yesterday and I never actually got around to getting a monster. So, I'm going to do that now. But uh, as I do that, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of uh, the plan. Well, yesterday, as you know, I got nothing done. I didn't. I came up with ideas, but I didn't put any of them down into paper. And that's partially because I wasn't home for most of the day. And two... Uh, I just, I couldn't, like, I, I felt like I couldn't. So, uh, what I used to do when I was younger, when I would write, uh, poetry and songs and, uh, stories, and I even wrote a book, like a full book in one of these, I got one of these old, uh, little notebooks that I carry around in my pocket now, and this thing will not leave my side until shooting is done. I will have this with me every day, jotting down shit, especially during choreography, because I'm no action choreographer. I'm not going to know what looks best on camera, what what is best for my actors. So if something doesn't look good, I got to write it down in here, and I got to come up with something else and write that down in here too. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to outline the script in here. I already have some notes in here, uh, some things that I, th I really thought 
tied this whole movie together. I actually thought of them when I was in Kohl's. I was walking around Kohl's and I was like, oh shit. Oh shit, I finally got it. And I ran around Kohl's looking to buy a notebook so I could just write it down, but there's no notebooks at Kohl's. So I had to kind of keep it in my head. And I kind of lost a little bit of it, but I kind of got it back later when I was looking through some music options, which I'm also gonna write in here, some music options. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Going to the bodega and I'm gonna get a monster and probably a little, a little snack to get the juices flowing. So, I'm back home. I got the monster, I got my book, and I got my pen. I'm gonna start writing in the book first so I know I have a serious plan of attack before I enter into writing the script itself. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get the juices flowing today. I think I'll be able to uh, ultimately get some work done, unlike yesterday. I do have the house to myself just for the morning. I have a few more hours before people get here, so that's a good thing. Uh, that means I'll have quiet. I also uh, have work that needs to be done, and I'm not doing it. So that's also a good mindset to be in. A little bit stressed. You know what I like? I like testing out new things. <laughs> you know what I don't like? I don't like uh, waiting for new things. Because uh, that's a pain in the ass. Like, I had to wait a long fucking time for the, the these, little, these little lighters that I turned into web shooters. Uh, I had to wait a long time for uh, this. I mean, this came relatively quickly, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, what really is kicking my ass is waiting for something from China, and I have to wait for my Power Rangers helmet because the seller is from China, even though it's manufactured in the United States. So, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's uh, let's go back to writing. Guys, I'm actually really excited right now. Not only did I take notes for what's going to be pretty much the entirety of the opening scene, which uh, unsurprisingly is going to have to take place in three different locations. I took notes on all of the music I'm going to be composing slash editing slash utilizing and the tones I want and everything and I got it all. All the music is in here, which is weird to say that all the music is in a notebook. But yeah, I got the notes for the opening scene ready. I got the music for the fight. I got the music for the opening scene. I got the music for the fucking credits in here. Uh, I also found, uh, I probably didn't write it in here, but I found one on Filmstro, which is how I compose and edit music. Uh, that's really, it's not tonally lined up with anything I want, but there's a part in it where it goes. And it's like almost like a transitional piece. So I'm probably going to use that because I already have a few transition. I have songs in here to be layered underneath other songs and songs in here to trans transition to other songs. Like, I, I got a lot of work done on the music front, and I think I'm probably done with it on the music front. As exciting as that sounds. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep looking a little bit, and I may even start writing the script for the opening scene, because I have it all jotted down here. I'm going to write a few more notes in the opening scene, and then we'll see where we are. Where we are. I, I finished the whole opening scene. I wrote it out. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a read-through to see if it uh, seems natural. Uh, I have a whole location in mind. Uh, conveniently enough, I was able to write out one of the locations because I was originally gonna have to shoot in three, but I wrote out the third one, so I'm gonna have to shoot in two locations. And uh, yeah, I finished. It only is about a page and a little bit into the second page, which means the opening scene is gonna be about a minute long. But I think I got it. I I think this is, this is solid. I'm gonna... There's not much dialogue, but what is there, I hope my actor can portray it. Well, I trust that he can. It's not very hard. It's just, like, single lines. But, uh, yeah, this is... This is good. I'm making progress. I'm, st I'm starting to write the second part of this, uh... Of this film. The part in between the opening scene and the fight. So I'm just doing, I'm right now doing the transitional scene after the opening scene where you see the title card and then before the fight starts. I'm going to write that down now and then I'm going to go right back into the notebook 
and plan out the fights for each of the individual characters. So yeah, this is coming out really good. I'm really proud of this. Next time I talk to you, maybe something will happen. I don't know. I don't know how these vlogs work. Because how am I going to vlog if I don't know what I'm going to do next? Like, I can't, like... I can't, like, be like, Oh, next time I talk to you, I'll have this done. No, next time I talk to you, I'll be fucking bored. And I just picked up the camera and I was like, Oh, I want to talk. Like, yeah. I'm still talking. Let's just cut this. I took a break from writing after the last uh, little clip I recorded. And I've just been, like, card throwing all day long. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get some good, uh... Good card throws in. Did I hit the camera? I hope they hit the camera. I'm gonna check if they hit the camera. See, I keep hitting around the camera. That hit the screen. I'm gonna count that. I think that hit the camera. <laughs> I'm literally using a paper magic card. This is all I had. I didn't want to use good playing cards. I would ruin them. Like, I'm ruining this one right now. Oh, that hit the camera. guys real quick I'm actually about to leave the house right now and I didn't think I was gonna get this done but I wrote uh, a bunch just now like I just I wrote four pages uh, up to page four I mean like up to four pages I wrote on the notebook the whole fight with the like one of the characters and uh, I actually scripted out that whole fight in the script so now I have uh, what is essentially the first half of the script done uh, I'm kind of doing like a two-act structure, so I've entered the second act, the the first third of the second act uh, so far, and I'm actually really shocked. Like, I didn't think I would get that much done today because uh, I had a place to go, and I was uh, not really in the mood to write or anything, but I just opened up the notebook, I just wrote a bunch of shit in there, and I was like, oh, I could just easily transfer this to this script right now, so I did. And it uh, feels great. And <laughs> now I'm about to shave and get dressed and leave. But yeah, I just want to update you. Also, I found out that the two best things to listen to when you're writing is Post Malone and Rock and Roll. So I have a playlist that's switching between some Post Malone songs and some Breaking Benjamin and some 3D, like just around some different songs from miscellaneous rock bands and Post Malone. So yeah. I guess uh, next time I'll see you, I'll have some sort of update. Guys, I'm at work right now. Today is probably definitely not going to get any writing done, but I did bring my book. So uh, I guess when I finish work or after, or maybe even during, if I come up with something, I'm just like, come right here into the bathroom real quick and just like try to write it down. But yeah, I just wanted to. I don't know. I don't know why I put this in here. Essentially, I'm just updating you guys, saying that writing is going to go a little bit slower this week because of work. Whereas, I started writing on Friday and I had the whole weekend. But yeah, I'm about to get real slow. So it's been roughly a week since I started the vlog, at least I think so. About a week since I started writing. And I'm recording this now to talk about what I've done and what I feel like I could have done better. So what I've done so far, well, I have written, I have written in my notes book for uh, up until the final few minutes. I've written most of the story and outlines and uh, all the music I intend to use, certain VFX I want to use, I've already written all of that in the notebook, so that's done. What have I written in the script? Well, I haven't written anything in the script since the last time I said I wrote something in the script, so that means I've written right into the the beginning of the second act, because this is only a two-act uh, structure. I've written uh, 
straight to the beginning of the second act. I've done a lot of progress, I think. I've written a lot, and I've structured the story out a lot thus far. And I have a lot of this pre-production stuff figured out. However, uh, I do feel like I could have written a lot more. I felt like I uh, slacked off and procrastinated a lot this week. I am a uh, working day job now and working on finding a second job, so it's not going to be easier from here on out. However, I feel like that there's times where I could have been writing that I didn't write, and uh, there's construction happening outside, so it's just loud as f it's just loud as fuck out there. It's very annoying, but uh, I hope the microphone doesn't pick it up too much of that. Now, I f back to what I was talking about. It was a very slow process at the beginning to come up with a lot of these ideas and stuff, but once I wrote them down in the notebook, I felt them very easy to transcribe to script. Uh, I put that in test for about two scenes, maybe. I mean, yeah, about two scenes, three. And, I'm work and I haven't done it yet for the most recent scene I wrote down, but I feel like I will have a pretty easy time transcribing that as I've already uh, audibly explained it to someone and demonstrated my mindset based on just what I, the notes I have in that book. I also have planned out the ending already, the ending to the whole thing. And uh, things seem to be going relatively smoothly. I'm not as far as I would like, but I am uh, from where I was last week. I do think I come. true. I do think I've come a long way. <laughs> so, yeah, I do think I'm coming near the end of this vlog, though. I think that uh, very soon I will be finishing the script, and I hope I'm not jinxing it by saying that. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Right now, I just wrote a lot. I just, uh, I mean, a lot for me, I guess. And um, I wrote the whole second fight of the movie. There, were two out of three fights, and straight to the end, to the start of the next fight. And I'm about to go in and start planning out and uh, coming down with choreography for the last fight with the last uh, bad guy, I guess. And this one was fun as hell to write. This one was, it's like a full, like it's thick, like a full page, no dialogue, just these long chunks of descriptions of what these characters are doing to each other. And I can already tell this is gonna be fun. As, it's gonna be fun as hell to record. And I also wrote in uh, a, something I think is very funny. So I wrote a whole, the whole second fight I'm about to start writing the last fight. Writing is going good today, so I think I would say that today is a definite uh, success. Today went exactly as I hoped it would, and I spent so many hours listening to Ann Arbor music today. And the thing about Ann Arbor is that I got into music because of Ann Arbor. When I was young, I heard one of their songs for the first time, and that made me go, oh shit, like, I love music. I love making and listening to music, and this is something I'm passionate about. Obviously, I'm not as passionate enough to pursue a career in it, but like for many years of my life, I was very passionate about music and making and listening to music, and that's because of Ann Arbor. And recently, I've been uh, going back in just only listening to them nonstop while writing. If you follow me on Instagram, you see my stories are like spammed with that shit now. So yeah, I guess next time I, uh, I check in, I have uh, something important to say. But more likely than not, next time I check in, I will not have anything important to say. So, yeah. This is new. Hi. Hi. I'm on a roof. Why am I on a roof? I don't know. I just want to get like a really cool shot of me being on a roof. I don't really have much to say. I, I mean, in the book, I haven't written anything or in the script. I've kind of like drawn pictures of ideas and I'm starting to come along with the title for this short film. But yeah, like, I'm literally just up here. 
because I wanted to get a shot on a roof. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad tonight, I don't have a job to find. And if I work tonight, if I'm so tired tonight, I'll fall asleep when I'm home, when I'm I probably edited in a little time lapse before uh, this clip you're seeing right now and that was the finishing touches of planning out the final fight the ending the planning out how I want this story to culminate and it felt so good to finally write those words in this this notebook to write done in big words obviously I know we're near done I haven't written it down in the script I haven't uh, you know edited the script I haven't even begun the process of producing this I'm not even done with the script but the planning process itself is complete this book I filled it about I don't know quarter of the way not that much uh, written down but uh, what you also saw in that little time lapse was me getting up doing actual motions to see what what my actors can actually do because I don't want to write in something where like he does a backflip and then he and then he kicks like around his back and then he does this and that because that's not realistic I do not want to put too much on my actors where they can get hurt and I don't want to put too much on my actors where they have to uh, where it feels like I'm asking way too much of them and obviously uh, the way this is gonna be cut and edited and filmed and choreographed there's going to be a layer of fantasy, but for most aspects of it, I want it to be realistic. And that's what I'm doing in the choreography stage. That's why I'm writing so much details in that book before I write it in the script. So I don't write something ridiculous, and then when they comes, my actors can't do it. Because that would suck. And even now, I don't know if that my actors can necessarily do all of these things that I wrote down. That's why you have to have a day where you meet with them and you see what they can do and you look at your props and you look at your budget and what you can get and do. And then that's where I'm going to start changing it if it's not uh, up to standards. If my actors can't do it, then I simply have to change it. I have to change it and it's, it's going to suck. I'm probably going to have to go dig back into this book and just scrap a whole page of writing. But... That's just the process. What you also see me doing is referring to uh, one of the best action movies of our generation and probably one of the top ten best action movies of all time. I'm looking at a scene from Mad Max Fury Road, uh, specifically the scene where Max and Furiosa are fighting over the gun uh, outside the truck. And that, uh, I was taking notes. I actually I wrote down a page of notes on just that scene in this book just so I could... Uh, try to see what they did well and what I like about it and what I think uh, storytelling wise that fight scene gets across so that I can implement some of those techniques into my story in my fight scene and then immediately after I come to an epiphany of how I'm gonna get this fight scene from where I started it to where I want it to end because uh, I actually started this fight scene by uh, drawing out the last frame I want in the in describing the final uh, kill move that our hero does and uh, that was actually kind of helpful and it really helped me to watch the Mad Max scene and then uh, correlate where my fight is right now what my actors are and the characters character traits and then to get that from point B to point C and using and to get to point B I use techniques that uh, that are very effective at least I think 
And yeah, I was actually planning on making this vlog right here that you're watching about how I didn't get shit done. It's it's been it's officially the next day. so it's been two weeks since I started this writing and I I was really disappointed. I was feeling really down. I was gonna pick up this mic and pick up the camera and be like guys I, I didn't do shit. But now I feel very uh, amped up that I I finished the planning phase and I'm very close to finishing the writing. And yeah, it was a great update. And uh, next time I talk to you, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to be saying. I should just stop ending my, uh, my little vlog clips like that. If I bleed tonight. I'm done. I wrote the first draft of that script and I finished it. I kicked its ass and I, I, I'm proud of what I've done. I think at least I have to give it a few more read throughs. I'm kind of taking a break right now. I wish I could be vlogging upstairs or doing this video right now upstairs where I have the script and I can just like show you my screen. It says Finn and it's just great like to see. But uh, yeah, um, I think that's probably going to be bringing me to the conclusion of this video. It's probably over 30 minutes at this point. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this. Right? Uh, it's a little bit of an insight on my process, I guess, writing in my book, right? thinking a lot, walking around, doing different things. Uh, at the last clip, you saw me uh, actually physically punching and imaging in my head what I think this fight scene could look like. And there's a lot of walking and writing and thinking and getting monsters, uh, which I only actually have to do once, but, uh, but yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, at least I learned that to write something that you're proud of and quality is something that's well planned out. It's going to take a while. Even if I took longer than an average person who can dedicate all their time to this, because I do have a day job, so I can only work on this in small bursts. But uh, yeah, so in the end, it took me around two weeks to work on to finish. And uh, yeah, it just, I feel like uh, something's been lifting off my shoulders and I might do another part of this, like this is going to be en the end of the writing vlog, but I will do probably another part where I talk about pre-production, maybe something, uh, maybe behind the scenes, and definitely a post-production, but probably definitely not, because post-production is going to be the hardest part of this whole thing, the longest and lengthiest thing, and I don't need to get something that's like 10 hours long and upload it to YouTube, that's going to be ridiculous. But yeah, so I will definitely try to do maybe another part of this vlog if you guys do enjoy it. If you got here to the end, leave a comment on what you think I should do. Tell me what you think you learned or got out of this. If it's nothing, just say it's nothing. If you think you kind of got some insight on a writing process or if maybe you learned some tips and tricks or maybe that I did, which I think is highly unlikely I didn't really do that much in here to teach anyone. But yeah, just uh, comment down below. You can always follow me on Instagram at language of the comic nerd. And if you're watching this video, you probably came from that Instagram. Uh, this is probably going to be a little something weird for my followers because it's such a long video. But if you did come to the end, I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.